Welcome. Today, we'll talk about different types of backdoor utility cards, their uses, advantage, and disadvantages. As you grind and reach from an MMR bracket to another, you will be seeing a lot of axes with different types of builds. You all should know that the higher MMR bracket that you reach, the harder the enemy lineup that you will face and most of them are not using front doors. There are backdoor cards that are commonly used in the arena for most players and some backdoor cards that aren't due to slight difficulty when using. There are backdoor cards that need additional cards or need an enemy to be in a certain situation to activate. Here's an example, the Spinal Tap or the Perch. This card will only activate or prioritize idle targets when comboed with at least two additional cards. If you are going against an Axie with this card, the only way you can counter it is to put any card on each of your Axie or none at all. Either way, the Axie with the Spinal Tap or the Perch will be targeting the front Axie if all your Axies are idle or equipped. If your Axie comes with this card, you can still use this as a damage combo even if you are not planning to backdoor the enemy. The Spike Throw or Tri Spikes, this card will only activate or target an enemy with the lowest shield when comboed with two or more cards. Similar to the Perch, the only way you can counter it is to put any card on each of your Axie with the same shield output or none at all. However, you will need to learn how to count the enemy's energy and their cards in order to predict whether the enemy will start using this card. The Gerbil Jump, this card is rarely used and its ability is similar to the Smart Shot. It skips the closest target if there are two or more enemies remaining. However, compared to the Smart Shot, the Smart Shot is mostly used since Aqua Card parts give additional speed. More speed, more efficient in speed battles. This card is mainly used in taking down the enemy's midline as early as possible. The only way to counter this ability is to know when the enemy will use this card in order for you to shield up and survive its attack. Although these cards can only be activated with some conditions, they can be very fatal if you miss the chance to defend your Axie. For the most backdoor cards used in the arena, here are the cards that don't need any help with any additional cards to activate nor doesn't need your enemy to be in a certain situation. Most players rely on their backline Axie. They are placed at the back for one reason and that is to survive the length of a match while they deal damage at a distance. This is where the Chitin Jump and the Sneaky Raid comes useful. Without any difficulty in accessing the backline of the enemy, these cards can be used easily as long as you are confident with your available cards. These cards come with a huge advantage especially if your enemy is a bird or a terminator. However, please note that it will still depend on the overall RNG and your luck. And lastly the Seed Bullet and the Dark Swoop. These cards prioritize and targets the fastest Axie in the enemy team. As to my experience, I rarely see players using the Seed Bullet compared to the Dark Swoop that is commonly used with Bird Axies. I believe everybody will agree that with the given speed advantage of the Bird Class Axie, it can be very scary if paired with the Dark Swoop. The disadvantage that I can only see in these backdoor cards is their low shield output. If you are looking to build your team with a backdoor Axie, I highly recommend that you consider prioritizing the speed for a huge advantage. These backdoor cards can be paired with any damage combos like the ones you hated now in the arena. All teams that come with backdoor ability may have a huge advantage, however, they can be countered if played right. Let me know what you think in the comment section regarding what is the best backdoor Axie and card. If you find value in today's video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more future Axie Infinity content.